This is a 100 amp hour LifePo 4 battery. I've had this in my shed for three months. I'm doing a proof of concept right now, but let me show you how I've got this hooked up. So connected to this battery, I have this charge controller, and then the charge controller is also hooked up to this switch. This is for solar. I've got a 200 watt solar panel outside. If you look at the charge controller, it is still kind of charging. The sun is going down, so it's going to be dark soon, but also plugged into to this battery, I have this 2000 watt inverter. What I've been testing is if I can just leave this setup as is and if it will have any problems. So I've been testing it all summer. You can see it's 91 degrees in here right now. It gets as high as 120 degrees in the shed fairly regularly. So it does really well in the heat. The other test I've done with this is I've just turned off the solar panel so it doesn't have any charge at all. And then I will let the inverter stay on the whole time so I've completely drain this battery a couple times just to see what happens and then every time I do that all I do is I come back in here and I turn the solar back on and it will start charging the battery again and I have not had any issue with it at all. This battery was sent to me so I could test it out run some tests and make this video and I've intentionally tried to put it in the worst conditions I can and I've had zero issues with it. It works really well. Now that I'm done testing it I'm going to go ahead and set up every everything in here permanently. I have some wiring set up in the shed so that I can make this fully electric. I've got some lights on overhead right now. It is being powered by this battery. I can go ahead and run the power tools in my shed while I've got the lights on. Let's go ahead and let me show you that now. So my shop's a mess, otherwise I, I chop wood, but let me just go ahead and turn this on. And with my 2000 watt inverter, it's not a problem running just about anything. This is a really nice combination setup. I've had this inverter for a while. I really like it. And this battery is still pretty new to me, but it's performed flawlessly. I highly recommend it. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.